Well, um, basically, you know, we have um, a lot of people in New Mexico who are very intent on transforming the food system toward a, uh, an economy that's much more localized and therefore much more prosperous for those of us who live here, that's a job creator, um, that will make farming increasingly more ecological and environmentally appropriate. Um, that'll preserve a lot of our very rich biocultural traditions of native and Hispanic farming and, and so forth. And, um, and it's one of our main goals here really is to, uh, and part of the reason we did this project, is to look first so we have a shared basis of information. So we did a pretty extensive analysis of the entire state's agriculture and food system. And um, to have a shared basis, a common reality, is a very good first step. <laughs> so that's one goal of the summit. Um, another one really is to then look at where the points of leverage are for change and, and where, who's already leading in those areas because in many cases there's a lot of leadership and also to identify what some of the gaps are where we're not doing work that needs to be done. And then lastly, we hope to um, help foster more collaboration and coordination because we'll be a lot more effective together than we are apart. So. So um, what was the jumping off point for this project when you first thought of it or dreamt of it? Was it global climate change? Was it a job growth? Was it sustainability? What was your impetus to begin this project to begin with? Well, you know, Bioneers is all about solutions. And our approach is what we call a declaration of interdependence. That John Muir, the naturalist, once said that in nature, everything is hitched to everything else. Well, just as the web of life is infinitely connected, so to our human systems, we're a part of nature, not apart from it. So we, we have to look at human systems as part of the natural world. And you, you can't really solve problems issue by issue or silo by silo. You have to solve the whole problem, basically. So that's, I think, the perspective that Bioneers brings is systems thinking in that regard and a solutions focus. And um, nine or ten years ago, we started a, um, a local program called Beaming Bioneers, where we beam parts of our annual conference to communities across the country who show those portions and then organize their own events. And it's really about building local communities, surfacing local solutions, and building social capital. Um, and I realized, you know, here we are pushing localization, but we're not doing anything in our own backyard in New Mexico. What is that? You know, that was a real disconnect for me. So um, I, I brought in my friend and colleague Peter Warshall, who's the co-director of the project, and we spent about a year trying to get a sense of the state of the state, whether it was indeed conducive to you know, some certain kinds of change, and also whether it, we would be welcomed to work locally here, because we, although we're based here, we hadn't worked locally. And the conditions were very positive, um, and people welcomed us, so we decided to, to run with that. And the question you ask is a very astute one, because how do you approach an entire system? Where do you start? You know, so what we did is we decided for obvious reasons to do with climate change to start with renewable energy. And we did um, the first phase was called the age of renewables. Um, and the year is, if you imagine for a moment, the year is 2020. We've done everything right. What would the age of renewable energy actually look like in New Mexico? And so we did a map and a pamphlet, a future map, you know, of a vision. Um, and then um, we've been involved, you know, locally, politically with that and educationally and so forth. And um, our own feeling was the next most important topic to cover would be the food system. Um, not, I mean, it's hard to say what's more important. They're all important, yeah. but <clears throat> there's so much great work going on in New Mexico around food and it seemed opportune for change. So that's what we decided. And we're not certain when yet, but down the road, we'd like to do a third phase, which would be water, the age of watersheds. So this one is called The Age of Local Food Sheds in a Fair Trade State. And um, you know it's a highly collaborative endeavor. It's not like we did all this ourselves by any means. There, we have a whole bunch of partners, and there's so much great work going on in New Mexico. You'll see it here this afternoon. Just It's a who's who of you know, just incredible work. And we have such a, you know, at the end of the day, I think that that's probably the single most important factor is the people. And if we succeed or if we fail is going to depend on that. It's not about even having the right answers. It's about having the right people. And we have a great wealth in that regard in New Mexico.